Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Pop, and welcome back to another Building Toronto video. Today we are going to be looking back at some of the work I've done over the past couple weeks. Uh, we did have a week off of Building Toronto videos, and it was for a good reason. Um, I wanted to get some significant work done as opposed to just doing some small stuff. And so we've actually completed almost an entire city block. Um, there's some details left to do, but we finished the entire building, uh, which has the address of 33 Young. But it, uh, it goes from Young Street on the west, um, Wellington on the north, front on the south. I think this is still front. I think it's still front. It might change names. And then this is this tiny street here is called Scott, I believe. So it's an entire, basically an entire city block. Obviously, it's not a full city block because the road does come up like this, um, which took a little bit of work to go over. But we'll do a quick fly around. Um, you can see it did take a while because there was so many different um, different levels of it. Like, as you can see, there's three different levels as well. Obviously, the angled wall and uh, and that kind of stuff. But it's it's a pretty, not really unique building in, in, in the sense that it's in real life, it's just kind of all glass. Um, I couldn't depict that well here just simply because there is details in the glass with steel and stuff that I couldn't do. And so because of that, I sort of chose to go with this style. And I'll put a picture up on screen. Hopefully, I'll remember. I try to remember. Sometimes I don't, though. Um, I tried to put a picture up of the actual building so you can compare it to what I did. It's a little bit different, but I think I captured it as closely as I could without making it all just a big piece of glass, which I think would have looked kind of bad. Uh, so that's really that. This wall here was the most difficult because I wanted to make it go with the slope of the road. Originally, I had the road kind of pinned out at a more straight angle. And when looking at the map of Toronto, uh, I realized that that wasn't going to work uh, at all, really. And so I had to sort of redo that and in turn redo this building. This was actually the first wall I did. And I built it out like this, and then I realized it wasn't good. So I had to redo that wall. Uh, but in total, I think I spent about 11 or 12 hours working on this building itself. I got a couple uh, things of help from a couple players on the server just doing the andesite on the roof because I didn't have time to do it. Uh, but most of the work I did, I like, I'd say probably 95%. And uh, I, I did do some of the detail work, as you can see down here. Obviously, we still need torches. Uh, we still need the wall on this part, I think. Or is that glass? No, that's glass. I forgot that. That side's glass. That side's a little bit different. Um, but most of the most of the detail work still has to be done. But I did do this little outdoor restaurant, which I kind of liked the way it turned out. I think it turned out okay. Uh, so this has to sort of be done throughout the rest of the building. But I think that uh, I think it's a good start. I'm probably going to work on this for next week's video, and then maybe I'll start on something else. But I thought it'd be something pretty significant to share with you guys and something I, I didn't want to work my way west more i wanted to do a little bit to the east because um I, I had been sort of going in every other direction i want to kind of work evenly out through the video so i'll go west one episode then north one and then east and then south and carry on like that uh, so that being said i'll hope maybe work on the bus terminal for next week or or this building uh this building is gonna be difficult but i i think that i, I did a good job of capturing the building at the, as best i could obviously there were some details in the restaurants. This bottom floor is all restaurants around the entire building. It's it's there's uh, three restaurants on this side. Uh, I think Oliver and Bonacci is this one, or Bonaccini, or however you say it. I'm not fancy like them. Uh, then there's two other like smaller type of restaurants. Then there's a, a Quiznos over here, Tim Hortons over here, parking garage, uh, and then like some dentist and other kind of junk like that on this side. Uh, but I did try and get the details, like the red terrace for the Tim Hortons. Um, this restaurant over here had a black terrace, but it was not just like flat black. So I did that. And then this one had a yellow one, but it wasn't flat yellow. Obviously, I couldn't go as detailed as they did. And so because of that, I just tried my best to sort of capture the the details. And you'll see next week when I finish them all up, all the details, all the seating, all that kind of stuff, all the shrubbery. This area is not done at all yet. Um, but you could see some of the mess that I had through trying to get the floors and everything set up properly. I think it'll come together pretty nicely, though. Uh, so obviously, like I said, this is a high-rise building. It was built in 1980, so a little bit pretty pretty aged, I guess, going to 37 years old. So it's uh, it's aged pretty well, to be honest. When you look at the building, you, you saw it earlier, as long as I remembered the picture. It uh, it doesn't look like it's that old. I was surprised when I looked it up and saw that it was it was 37 years old. So, um, I mean, that's, that's good on the architects, I guess, uh, for for anything else really as aside from that i mean nothing if nothing else it, it looks good and that's a credit to the architects um it's 14 floors high but i mean that's what it says on the website but like looking at it here here it looks like more than 14 floors i know this is 11 i think 11 levels so maybe it's more than 14 but I, it says on the website 
14, like a, like a, just like a website for architecture information. Um, so there's 14 floors from what the website says, and the building is LEED certified. And so uh, I don't know if LEED is an international thing. It is a thing in Ontario, I think Canada-wide for sure, but it's sort of just a classification of environmental sustainability for the building, how the building gets its heating, its cooling, it's that kind of stuff, making it um, environmentally friendly. And so from there, you're, there's different levels of LEED certification you can get. And so I don't know which one this had because I didn't really pay attention, to be honest with you. I should have. But I didn't really know if this was something you guys wanted to see in the videos or have in the videos. So if it is, if you are interested in that kind of stuff and the environmental the environmental friendliness of the building, there's a little parrot. Uh, let me know if you if you want to see that kind of stuff in the comments down below. But that's pretty much everything. Uh, there's a group in here. I don't remember the name of it. That's kind of bad. Um, but it's like I don't didn't recognize the name of the company that that has its name on the side of the building. So take that for what it's worth. I think it's some sort of medical company. But um, that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry we missed last week. I'm hoping that I'll get enough work done for next week to have a video again. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this sort of reflection. I think I might be doing a video where I actually build the building in next week. I'm going to try and do that, but we'll see. But if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer and you're glad that some building Toronto is back, be sure to uh, leave a like and a favorite and share the channel with some of your friends. Maybe maybe some of your friends would like to see that I'm building Toronto as well, in addition to yourself. But uh, that's everything. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'll catch you guys on Monday with another video. Have a good one.